Soon as I started going on a rant and going ballistic on Twitter and on Instagram, they called my phone so many times. back to my channel so I gotta do an update on my back situation like y'all seen what I was going through and this whole bag situation is like crazy um okay so I'm gonna tell y'all where we left off because I didn't even get a chance to like tell y'all everything so basically, um, so basically the last, so in the last video, the last few times you see me call them, I had called them like, like after that video, I had called them like probably about like 10 more times. Like me and Menelik was literally screaming at them. Like, and it was because every first off, every time we would get on the phone, they would tell us something different and then they would lie. Like this is about United Airlines, right? United Airlines would literally lie and say that they was going to call us back after they called Brazil Airport to try to find my bag. And they would never call back. Like, I really can't stress this enough how much they never called back. Like, they dead eyes don't care about their job. And th this is my thing. Like, the reason why I even made these videos is just to show y'all because this is a huge company that you're putting your life in their hand. You get what I'm saying? No one wants to fly with somebody who treats people like this and they're losing their belongings and they're treating them like they don't even care. Like, when you fly with these people, you're literally on their airplane. Who who else don't care? Does the pilot not care? Like, I don't know. I just don't trust them. And let me tell you something. I don't even fly that airline. And I remember getting off of the uh, flight and I was literally on the phone with Menelik, like, like Menelik, I'm never flying this airline. And then that whole bag situation happened. So anyway, let me tell you. So, so we still trying to find my bag. They saying they don't know where my bag is. They don't know anything. So just keep in mind, you guys remember, I paid a thousand dollars for my bags to get on the plane. It was overweight, and I had more than one bag. And that's because I'm traveling. You get what I'm saying? Like, I have stuff to do and stuff to bring. So, I was traveling to more than one place. So, I had more than one bag, which should be okay. And so, they was they was trying to give me problems when I was checking in my bag. Remember, I told y'all, like, the guy who was um, the clerk or whatever the hell he's called, he, like, had an attitude about me having that many bags. And it was going to be so expensive. And he was just, like, literally, like... <sighs> and he was like an older Caucasian man and he was just like so annoyed so I was just like okay you know I didn't feel good so I just didn't pay it no mind like I was just like whatever like my sign I, I was having allergy problems so um okay so where we left off we called them and I remember going into uh beverly center mall which is in LA and I was like calling them all day like literally all day and they could not find my bag at all. So I had told my mom and I'm like, Ma, like, I can't, I really can't find my bag. You get what I'm saying? And she like literally took it upon herself and she was like, send me the number, like the tracking number, the baggage number that you had. Send me all the information that you have for your bag and send it to me because I'm about to find this bag. Like, my mom was pissed. It was about a week by now. So, my mom was, like, pissed, okay? And I was already stressing out. First off, I'm stressing out about other things. And then I'm stressing about my bag. Like, when I tell y'all I was so stressed out, my body was literally hurting. Like, I was sore. I couldn't really do much. And usually when I get really overwhelmed and really stressed out and just, like, you know... Uh, my body it like stiffens up and my back hurts every my head hurts everything hurts and that's exactly what was happening so I was like complaining to my mom like mom like I don't feel good my body hurts da 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 so first off I told my mom I told my mom that um I told my mom that I had the guy that I supposedly switched bags with tell me why 
I had all his information because United gave it to me. They gave me all of his information. They gave me his name. I have his email. I have his phone number. I have his home address. I know where this man lives. Now, imagine if I was a crazy person and I was like out of my mind and I was obsessed with my stuff, which... I love my stuff, but it's material items. You know, it could be replaced. But imagine if I was just a crazy person and I deadass, like, went to his house, was blowing up his phone. Uh, like, imagine if I was that type of person. Like, United is not supposed to be giving out people's information like that at all. Like, do they not know that? Like, I don't understand how they don't know that. So, they gave me all his information, and I don't know, like, what that was supposed to be about if they was, like telling me to handle it myself, call him and see, or what. But this is the person that I supposedly switch bags with. So we gonna name him like, let's say Mike or something, because you know, he's part of the story. So I told my mom this, and my mom, I sent my mom all of the information, and she seen his number, and she was like, we should call him, and you know, ask him, do we have a bag? Now at first, I was against calling, because I, I don't know I just felt like it was very invasive and I don't know I was just I was just not comfortable but she like told me we should call so I was like okay like you know I'll just be on three-way and I'll let her speak to see what happens so tell me why Mike answers the phone mind you let me not lie let me not even lie in front I did call him once from my number and he didn't answer and I never called again because I was just like you know I just wanted to call to see but he didn't answer and I was just like, okay, like, I don't know. So anyway, when my mom called and I was on three-way, he answered. And she introduced herself and she told, you know, him the situation about my bag. And he basically said he never had my bag. Like, ever. Okay? Like, the man, he said when he landed in Brazil airport, he... Didn't see any bag that we described on the phone. We described the bag to him. He was like, no, I never seen that bag. And truthfully, I didn't have no bag. I just went to the counter and told them that my bag wasn't there. And they told me they would get it to me in a day. Which they actually did. You guys remember that they sent him his bag. So, he's like telling us like... No, I don't have your bag. And let me tell you guys something. He, This guy is a really nice person. Like, I don't think he's lying. And I didn't think that he was, like, you know, just saying it to be an asshole. Like, I really think that he didn't have my bag. So, yeah, we just get to talking. And we're telling him, you know, like, more stuff about us. And he's telling us about him. Like, yeah, I remember you at the airport. Yeah, I did see you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you had on this, right? Yeah, da, da, da. So, we ended up telling him that we have all of his information that United gave it to us. And let me tell you, the guy is, like, pissed. Like, he's basically saying that he's going to sue United. And he's just really pissed off. I don't have anything to do with that. But that's something that he definitely should have known. Because I don't, like, I don't have anything to do with that. And that is not okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't think... the like, United, they just don't care about nothing. They don't care about nobody. Like, do they even care about themselves? They just put themselves in a whole lawsuit. Like, come on. I can only imagine what they did with my information and if they told anybody. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to tell you guys that United also gave me the guy's uh, information of his flight back, which is so bizarre because, literally, what if I was a crazy person and... I waited for him to come home to the address that I have. I know a day he's coming back. I know his name. I know his number. Like, why do I need to know what day he returns? I just thought that was really bizarre. So anyway, let's get back into the story because... So, he's like, oh, I don't have the bag. You know, I didn't have that bag. I, w I was just looking for my bag, and they told me that they was going to send me my bag, and, da -da -da, and they sent it in a day and a half or whatever. So my mom is like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how are they saying that your bag got sent to Brazil, and he's saying that you never had your bag? Like, this doesn't make any sense. You get what I'm saying? So she decides to call up. 
uh, the airport that I left from, which is Newark. Um, you guys know I'm from New York. So I left from Newark Airport and she drove me there. So she decides I'm all the way here. Like I'm literally here. I can't go to Newark Airport. So she decides to go to Newark Airport for me. Thank God. So she goes to Newark Airport and she's looking for my bag. Tell me why they have my bag. Like, how do you, how, how do y'all have my bag? Like, I don't understand how they have my bag. Like, why is my bag not with me? And why is my, why did my bag never get sent? And I paid a thousand dollars for my bag to get to me and to where I'm at to come with me like th like the only thing I could really think about is the man who was giving me attitude at the beginning and who was just being so rude to me like that's the only thing I could think about because why wouldn't I have my bag you get what I'm saying and then it's like my my part about it is that so if I didn't have my bag and my bag never got sent where did y'all find this man at and say that I switched my bag with him? Like, like how did y'all pinpoint this man? Like, I don't get that. Like, so if I never have my bag and y'all have it, like it's just sitting there in the airport, who is this man that y'all telling me I switched my bags with? And this is the reason why, remember they were saying in the vlog that they don't see my bag in the system and all of this stuff. This is the reason why, because they never sent it. But what I'm saying is, if y'all, like, I just don't get, like, who is this man that y'all pinpoint me on? And why did y'all think I switched bags with him if y'all never even tagged it? And y'all know that I was at that airport. Like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, how did my bag not get sent? I don't get it. Like, like, where was my bag? Like, I don't know. None of it makes sense. And truthfully, United Airlines is so irresponsible. Like, they are irresponsible beyond. Like, they don't care about their stuff. And they're not going to care about your stuff. And I just think that nobody should fly this airline ever. I never flying this airline ever in my life i just I, like i don't have the time so anyway my mom brought my bag home and she went through my stuff and my mom found my bag and she's going through my bag right now so ma yeah look in there okay all right what should be in here shoes yeah i should have a white pair and a yellow pair Yeah. Okay. okay. <sighs> see if you see a Chanel like uh little like wallet bag. It's not there. Oh my gosh. No, I only have one Louis well I did have a bag. It has a green strap. I don't think that's in here, Joy. So hold on, let me check. Okay, I have that bag. I don't know for sure if they took anything 100% only because I was over on FaceTime. So I feel like once I get in person and I could go through all my stuff, I'll be able to, under you know, know if they took stuff. Um, she was just showing me, like, the stuff that was in there. So I don't know. I'm going to figure it out when I get back. But... I just don't get how they never sent my bag. And then it's like, how y'all don't have information on my bag? Like, how y'all don't know where my bag is? And it's just sitting at the airport with strangers? Like, this is my stuff. You get what I'm saying? And I've seen a lot of people writing me saying, oh, you can replace it. Like, you have money. What are you crying about? And it's not even about that. You get what I'm saying? It's really not about me being able to replace it. First off, no one wants to replace a whole bunch of stuff. Y'all don't even understand. All of my designer shoes and designer handbags was in that suitcase only. Like, I have no shoes with me. I have two pair of shoes on this vacation from Aldo, which is like a pair of slippers like this. And a pair of heels that I wore to the wedding. And other than that, I just have sneakers. 
that I wore to the airport. Like, I really don't have anything. So it's not about that. No one wants to buy stuff all over again. And this is just my stuff that I've worked very hard for and invested in. And yeah, there's material things and it can be replaced. And I get that. I totally understand that. Um, but at the same time, it's just the fact that there's someone that is being irresponsible. And then on top of that, nobody has information for me. Like, it feels like I'm being played with. You get what I'm saying? No one wants to feel that way. No one wants to be in this situation, period, point blank. It's not about material stuff. This situation fucking sucks. So, um, now they got to give me my money back. They got to give me all my money back, all my funds back. I paid how much money to get my bag on the plane. And the guy was so rude to me and so mean to me. Just a little update on my bag, you guys. So I did get my bag back, but it's not with me right now. And United was basically no fucking help. I don't know if y'all seen the whole Twitter thing. The CEO actually mentioned him because I'm like, hey, like, help me find my stuff. Like, this is not okay. And, um... Uh, somebody else that works at operations and the actual united airlines twitter page was like blatantly ignoring me basically gaslighting me like it was this whole thing like i'm not playing no more like and that's let me tell you something let me tell you something remember when i said none of them called me soon as i started going on a rant and going ballistic on twitter and on instagram they called my phone so many times i've never got a phone call from them ever like like when i say ever i mean ever like they called my phone so many times and let me tell you something they didn't even call my phone they called my boyfriend's phone he booked my ticket for me so they called his phone so you guys know my name you know what number is under my flight information you see all of the stuff so you know all of that information, so you should be able to pinpoint what bag was mine at that exact time on your cameras because you did it with some random ass man. Like, but you can't find my bag in your airport, but you're calling my phone because I'm coming at y'all and putting y'all on blast. Like, that is not okay. And y'all know I barely do this. Like, I don't go on rants. I don't do this, like, exposing people or exposing companies, but they are dead ass full of like y'all don't even understand like i would not fly this airline if y'all was if i was y'all if you're looking at this video and you're planning a trip do not do united at all that's the little update on my bag <sighs> i'm very exhausted like y'all don't understand like soon as my mom went to the airport and she said she had my bag like it was like a weight lifted off of me like my back stopped hurting my body stopped hurting everything i don't know at this point <sighs> I don't even want to travel anymore. Like, I don't want to take any airlines. I don't want to take any airplanes. I don't want to do anything. I just want to stay home. Like, you really can't trust these people. And I just feel like I don't even want to, like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to check no, none of my bags in. I've never dealt with this before, ever. I just wanted to keep you guys updated because, you know, I started posting about this. And you guys were really looking for this update. So, that's a little update. United is They can kiss my and also i want to thank you guys for helping me uh for mentioning united on instagram so they can find my bag because they really like to ignore people like they really really do and they really don't like to address stuff because they don't want to be embarrassed they don't want to um look like you know they did something so a whole bunch of you guys were mentioning them so i just want to thank you guys for that like i did us appreciate you guys so much we got their attention and they really tried it like they tried it like thank you guys so much for watching this video and just being in tune with this whole fiasco thing is so stupid like i'm over it okay I'm gonna go to bed now and I love you guys so much make sure you um, subscribe and like this video and I love you guys good night